Okay, let's draw. Uh, hope you pardon my voice a little bit. I've had a cold. I wanted to get back on this. Okay, we pretty much finished the bottom of this uh, primary saucer. So I want to start working on the top. So let's see, we're in object mode. We got this selected. Oh, we're off center here. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Let's go to edit. And lines and alt select. I want that outer edge. Go back to verts. Uh Z. Now the nice thing about this with hitting Z is it basically that shape's there, but I can see through it. Okay. So what I want to do is Oh. Extrude and then scale. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that actually worked pretty good. Except for... I think I want to scale it a hair more. And then let's... Grab it to the Z. Let's bring it up a little bit. Okay, let's go seven. Let's go extrude scale. Let's pull it out a little bit and let's go back to one. Extrude scale. Uh, grab Z. Let's bring it down a little bit. Let's box this in here. Let's grab it to the Z, bring it down a little bit. Let's box this top, this top line here a little bit. Grab it to the Z, bring it down. A. Let's box this. Let's scale it a little bit. Let's go A. Let's box. Box in this row here. Grab it in the Z. Bring it up just there. Okay. This box is bottom line. Extrude scale. Okay. Don't like that. Maybe Z, bring it up a bit. There we go. Let's see what it looks like from the top. Mm -hmm. The only bad thing about that is I'm actually looking at the uh, looking at the bottom of the ship. I'm not looking at the top. So what I need to do is hit A, and then I can go back to object. this object and we're going to grab it to the Y. And I'm going to move this picture over here. And then I need to zoom in here. See what I'm looking at here. If 
bring it more centered. Okay, go back to edit. Okay. Do it this way too. Grab this, go to edit. Z, there we go. Edit mode. Now we're looking at the top if I push the Z. Okay. Go back to one. I can just grab this bottom line here again. Box it in. Okay. And it's pretty close. Let's extract to the Z. Let's go straight down here. Let's box this in and go the scale. Grab to the Z, bring it up. Then we need to scale this one out a little bit. Grab it to the Z, bring it up a little bit. Box this one. Box this one here. Grab it, see a little bit. Actually, let's scale it tad in there. Yeah, that's pretty darn close. And then once we separate those materials, it'll come out a lot better. Okay. Now, this is always one thing that's kind of bothered me. Actually, let's look at this from the top. So let me go seven. Or let's go Z. All right, one of the things that's always kind of intrigued me and or bothered me a little bit about this design is the way they run the elevator in this uh, and actually the elevator didn't bother me too much what bothered me was the way they built the set so they could film it they offset it and then even in the design they offset the bridge up here and there they actually uh, set in here skewed to the left which really wouldn't affect them being in a spaceship and stuff like that but uh it's just size kind of irritated me. Okay, let's go back to one. Uh, we're going to worry about this elevator just a little bit later. Right now, what I want to do is I want to box in this bottom here. Grab it to the Z, bring it down a little bit. More like that. Okay, and... This is going to get interesting a little bit because I'm going to have to blend these two parts together eventually. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to make this teardrop. This uh, On the uh, Constitution class, this thing's full of science. I think I mentioned it before. It's full of science labs. But we're going to... Oh, pardon me. We're going to make this teardrop. We're going to make this teardrop scale... Extrude scale, we're going to go out, about there, we're going to go one, and we're going to go grab, and we're going to go Z, we're going to bring it up right, actually we're going to bring it right there, we're going to parallel it with that line, I think we actually got it. 
see how I... Actually, what I can do here is I can box this whole line, which boxes the other ones, and I can go uh, scale to the Z and then zero. Whoopsie. Okay, and then grab Z. It's because of the cursor up there, but I can just bring the whole thing back down. Okay. Then what we need to do is go... A, deselect, go into the line mode. Alt, because I just want to be on that outer line. There we go. And then back to back to vertex mode. Let's see, let's go one. There we go. And we can go uh Extrude scale, go out a little bit. Extrude scale, go out a little bit. Let's see. Scale will come out a little bit. Grab Z. Start putting a little bit of a curve on that. And uh, what I'm doing here at this moment is I'm actually looking at this front. Because if you notice, it's making kind of sort of a uh, perfect flying saucer shape here. It's not making the teardrop, but I'm going to extend as I go down. Then I'm going to stretch this part out here. and I, th I think I can form it to this shape. Okay, let's go back to one. But what I want to do first is basically make this whole this whole thing here. Okay, so I would grab to the Z. Oh, actually we already did that. Okay, let's go there. Let's go extrude scale. And let's grab to the Z and bring it down. Let's scale it. Mm-hmm. Scale it out. Grab to the Z, bring it back up some. See, and sometimes you might just have to play with it a little bit, scale. Okay, let's go extrude scale again. And scale. There we go. Extrude. One thing I could just do at this point is kind of scale. Now one of the things I'm going to have to do, even if I teardrop this, because this front part here is, uh, this front part's almost where we want it, and how we want it to look almost, but this, uh, this, uh, back part where it 
So slopes, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to still go down. We're gonna have to come down to like this level. But the way that drops off, I don't think that's a problem. So extrude the Z, go down a little bit, and we'll scale it. Still bring it out of here like that. Mm, that's pretty close. If we have to, we'll do another one. Let's go A. Okay. Now it's going to come the challenging part here. Let's go from the top. Let's go Z so we can see this here. Okay. So here's where we're going to have to go from, uh, let's see, probably here, let's box. Box. And I can also do the control. Oops, see, that ain't what I wanted to do. Control Z. Oh, that was nice. Alrighty, try this again. There we go. Okay. I guess I'll just use the box. I was just trying to do the control grab. Let's see, let's try this. Let's draw a line all the way around there. There we go. I can just box this part in. Okay, so you notice what I've done is I've grabbed all the vertices. All the vertices that are on this flat part here, because we're not wanting to distort the bridge part, which is actually this part above this. We're just wanting to work on this teardrop here. So I grabbed all of these things. Okay, so what I want to do is grab to the X and then just stretch it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to scale it on the Y. Scale it in. Okay. And hit A. This is gonna it's gonna see somewhat what weird to you the way I do this, but I've done this before. It actually works pretty good. Sometimes it takes a little bit of patience because you gotta do a lot of manipulation to get it to work. Uh, no. Except for I missed it. Let's go A. So, box. Box. Okay, box. Okay, let's grab this to the X. Let's bring us out. Scale it to the Y. Okay, and I'm going to use this bottom edge more than anything here. So what I need to do is hit A. I need to box in these two sections again. I need to scale them to the Y. Scale them to the Y. Bring them in just a little bit. Actually, I can grab them to the X. I can bring them up a little bit. Scale them to the Y. Bring them out a little bit. Okay. 
And as you can see, this thing's starting to turn into a uh, starting to turn into the dome. Now, the other thing I gotta realize a little bit that I haven't messed with yet, and I might mess with the last, is that we're gonna slope this down also. Now, if we get this shape, I want it. Now, what's kind of funny too is I could I could actually just uh, make this a little bit different than the Enterprise one. In the Constitution class, I could just leave it flat on top here, which at, actually might look kind of cool. And we're on around 20 minutes, so let's. Okay. Bit of control. Control, but I gotta hold the right button to grab them. Alrighty, you can see I can actually grab this all, but I need to go back to Z so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's grab it. Then let's scale it to the Y. There we go. Select A. Select A. There we go. Edit mode. There we go. Z. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Let's go control. Grab with the right button. Okay, let's grab it to the X. Let's bring it out here. Let's scale it to the Y. And Okay, now if you'll notice, we're almost there, but this shape's a little bit funky because it's still keeping its big, uh, it's still keeping its big. Okay, now I'll show you how we, how we get around this. Then, like I said, it takes a little bit of patience, but, uh, see, we'll zoom in here a little bit. Okay. For the most part, our lines are running where we want them to here. But here, when we're scaling them, it still isn't scaling them quite the same. So we can control and we're just going to basically do the same thing we were just doing, except for this time we're not going to we're not going to be grabbing it to the X. We're just going to go eat each individual line almost, and we're going to scale to the Y. And we'll squeeze that in. We'll kind of follow that line. All, and all we're worried about right now, basically, is the first line past the one where we went, like there. Then we'll hit A. And then, same thing, we will... Okay, scale to the Y. And actually, we're pretty close to being where we want to be. Unless we wanted to skinny that up. I think that looks pretty close. Let's look at it in Z. Let's go in object mode right quick. Okay, and like I said, as you notice, there's a lot of little flat surfaces. Once I smooth this thing out, it's going to look pretty darn good. Let's go from the side, though. What we want to do on the side now is we go back to edit mode. And go to Z. And I'll show you how we do this. We're going to box this. 
And we're going to scale this to the Z. Then we're going to grab it to the Z and we're going to drag it down. Uh, interesting. Grab it, Z. Let's, let's try it this way. The only problem with that now is that we got this big O distorted part that isn't working right. So. Let's try it a different way. Let's go control Z, control Z, control Z. Okay. Let's let's try it from here. Okay. Alrighty, let's try this again. Let's try this this way. That's scale to the Z. Grab it to the Z, let's go down. Let's go A, let's box in this one, grab it to the Z, go down a little bit. I'm not sure about this one. It's not looking how I want to look at. I'm not getting the round. I got the teardrop shape from the top. One. Or seven. I got this shape more or less from the top how I want it. But the other shape isn't coming out how I want it. Let's see. Control Z. Oh no. I just messed that up. I went too many Z. Edit mode. Oh, I got it. I should have saved it too. See, I didn't save it. Didn't, didn't follow my own rules, so I'm going to have to do this over. Which is. Ever so slightly irritating. Okay, let's grab it to the X again. Oops, let's get this. Last two dots here. Okay, grab it to the X. Scale to the Y. Alrighty. Uh, scale to the Y. Okay, scale to the Y. Okay, now Z. Now, before I mess it up anymore or and you on, I will save this. And let's make this a 13 now. Let's make it. Oh no. Let's go cancel, file, save as, there we go, 13, let's make it a 13A, okay, 
Okay. And that's on 30, so what I think I'll do, uh, I'll shorten it here. And then when we come back, I will continue on. I'll figure out how to, uh, I'll figure out how to make this shape how I wanted to make it with the slope. Actually, I kind of like it flat like that a little bit, but we'll, we'll see what we think about it. Whoa. Okay. But anyway, uh, I don't want to just give up because I'm not sure how to make it. I need to figure out how to make it. And so we come back, uh, I think this is 15, we come back at 16, we'll continue, I'll continue working on this and see if I can finish the top of this uh, saucer and stitch it together. And then I'm not sure where I want to go. I think what I want to do then is I, I want to do a tutorial on, we want to make the app. Uh, primary deflector dish down here. I need to get back down in here and figure out uh, hangar bay doors. Put hangar bay doors in here. Uh, I'm actually looking forward kind of to modeling the engines. I'm gonna th I think that's going to take uh, three to four of these tutorials to do the engines. I need to do, if you look on the back of the ship, it has the little impulse engine section and the little uh, bar thing and uh, so I, I need to figure out, I need to figure out or I want to decide like what kind of things to shape and draw on here and what I don't basically. Because I like, to, I want to keep some of the features and then other features I'm going to change a little bit since it's actually supposed to be a different class of ship little bit there and uh, like I said we'll figure that out when we come on back we'll, we'll start smoothing out some of these sections that are that are uh, all these little flat surfaces we'll, we'll sm smooth out this dome the domes and uh, stuff like that and, we're, and we'll figure out this uh, we'll figure out this top the top shouldn't be too hard because it's flat until it starts angling up and then we'll angle up this dome and stitch it all together and we'll do that over the next couple episodes so thank you for watching i hope you're enjoying this and we'll keep on keep on modeling uh i need to get on my uh japanese airplane modeling too and back into the cdk stuff and that's kind of a different issue that's for war thunder not trek yards so thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.